Hey everyone, Joe back with Grill Just Barbecue, and today we got a real big cook. And now when I say big, oh baby, look at that guy. So this will be part one of, I hope, a three-part Thanksgiving series. I'm starting off big with the turkey. I've had this thing brining in this bag overnight in the fridge. I use a Kinder's brine and rub kit. I only use the brine, I'm not using the rub. For the rub, I'm going with a base coat of some Drunken Chef SPG, followed up with a little Running Wild Foods Peach. I think that's gonna be a pretty good combo. We got the char griller up to 350 degrees right now with some apple wood in it. I'm gonna be using my The Meat Stick Thermometer to watch this temp on the cook. If you wanna get yourself one of these, go down to the description box, click that link. And I'm doing something a little different, something I've never done before, but my, but my buddy Trumpet Master has done this and he says it turns out awesome. I'm using some mayo as the binder. So we're gonna throw that all over the bird, put our seasonings on it. Throw this bad boy in the smoker at 350 degrees so it gets all nice and crispy. We'll see how she turns out. But first things first, I gotta go empty this brine bag, and then we gotta do a little bit of trimming before we get to the seasoning. We'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm using my massive cutting board that my dad made me. If you want to win a cutting board like this one, but maybe not as big, I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. Shipping this would be a nightmare. You have to make sure you're subscribed. We're gonna be doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. A custom cutting board is gonna be one of the prizes. I'm going to be giving away a meat stick thermometer. Love it. I'll reach out to a few other companies. We'll see if we get some more prizes. But if not, you know, we'll do what we do. All right, so first things first, I'm going to remove this little guy because that's not needed. I'm going to undo this turkey's feet, give him some freedom. Guys, this brine, it smells so good. The herbs and spices that this thing has been sitting in for the last 18-ish hours. Man, I am excited. Get that little hook out. This part, I am gonna cut off. This thing will not last during a smoke. We're gonna trim up some of this excess skin. We're gonna trim up a little of this skin over here so we can get some uh, seasoning on the inside. And that's really all we're gonna trim on this bad boy. Get this started. This excess skin off. I'm gonna get some of this excess skin out. All right, that's really all the trimming I'm gonna do on this bird. I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna pat dry this whole thing. I'm not worried about using that brine as a binder since I'm gonna be throwing on this mayo. This will actually be the first time I've ever brined something I'm cooking. Now hopefully, light mayo is not gonna affect this process. Cause that's all I had in my fridge. We're just gonna go in with it. And trust me guys, I say trust me, I haven't tried this before, but going off of what Trumpet says, you can't taste this mayo. Get this bird nice and covered. And I'm gonna go in with the Drunken Chef SPG first. Guys, if you haven't tried this, head over to DrunkenChefBBQRubs.com. Pick you up some. These will be linked in description. This is a good buddy. These are good rubs. I'm gonna try to get every little bit. One really nice thing he does when he makes his rubs is, if, I don't know if you can tell, the holes for this rub are really big. So everything comes out nice and easy. Kinda gotta get used to using it because normally rubs don't have these big openings and you're fighting to get the seasoning out. This seasoning just wants to come out and join the party. The flavor party. All right, that is looking good. Get some up in there. And then I think this is gonna add some really good color and I really like the flavor of this running wild peach. Red, it's gonna look good. It's gonna taste good. I just sent the cook to my meat stick. So I'm gonna get this inserted into the thickest part. You wanna shove it all the way in to the tip 
and this bird's ready for the smoker. I'm gonna go out, check the smoker, make sure it's running good at 350, got some good smoke in there. I got three good sizes of apple wood in there. I wanna get a real hard smoke at the start, and then uh, we'll be checking on in a couple hours. All right, just like that, she's a cooking. Now this isn't gonna be a super long cook. I mean, we're doing 350 degrees. This thing only has to get to 165 degrees and it doesn't take a super long time like a brisket to break down all those fats inside. So I'm hoping to hit it real hard with that apple smoke to start. And uh, I got another one chunk ready to go in there now. We'll see how the wood chunks are doing and uh, we'll see what it looks like in a couple hours. All right guys, this has only been on for about two hours, but at 350 degrees, check that out. I'm showing 160 in the breast. I just gonna give that breast a little bit more time where the meat stick was. It was going off. Showing 140 right there. Well, check out that skin. Look at that. Just a little bit longer for those breasts and it'll be ready to go. All right guys, it's a little over three and a half hours of cook time and this bad boy is done. And just like barbecue or smoking a brisket or anything like that, you wanna leave some time to rest. So it's been resting for about another 30 minutes and as you can see on the edges, I got juices coming out. So let's see how it looks. Check that out. That's looking beautiful. With all these juices, I know it's gonna be juicy. What we're gonna do, is slice into this turkey breast. I'm gonna take the whole turkey breast off and then slice it into sections. For the rest of it, the legs, I always just try to yank them off as best I can. The wings, same thing. When I was a kid, my dad would always just cut me off a turkey leg and that's what I would get. So we're just gonna start slicing this thing and see how it looks. You'll notice I have a different apron on this time. Check it out, the last chance cook-off apron came in from Full Blown Country. He made these up, shipped them out. Check him out on YouTube, I'll have a link below. All right, I'm just gonna take it right down the middle. Oh yeah, try to take this whole breast off. Look at that juice is just pouring out of that white meat. Check that out guys. Let's see if we get a close up of that. To see these juices coming out of this meat. I'm just gonna pull a piece right out, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna take this breast. There we go, oh my gosh. It is juicy. There's just tons of flavor in there. Let's take a bite of it. Wow. That's amazing. There is so much flavor with that salt, pepper, and garlic base. That uh, peach rub on top adds a really unique flavor profile. That 18 hour brine helped a lot with the juiciness. I mean, there's just tons of juice in this thing. Tons of flavor. That is amazing. So you know I gotta take a leg off. Look at that beauty. That is my favorite right there. You know, as I'm sitting here enjoying this amazing turkey, you're probably wondering to yourself, Gorilla, how do you get that beard looking so dang good? Well, I got a little secret for you guys. Echo 5 Whiskey Beard Bomb, check it out. Boom. This is a buddy I work with, veteran owned. It's him and his wife make these. It's Beard Bomb, this stuff's amazing. I use this every day, keeps it nice and sleek, keeps all the hairs in, keeps everything in place, makes it look good, it's healthy for your skin and your hair. I'm gonna put a link down below to the website to pick some of this up. So you definitely go check it out. Like I said, veteran owned company, it's just him and his wife making these. They're really good people. You should check them out if you have a beard or know someone, perfect stocking stuffer right here. And I have a discount code below. So make sure you put that in and let them know that Gorilla Joe's Barbecue sent you and get yourself a little discount on some Echo 5 Whiskey Beard Balm. All right guys, check that out. That bark, that skin just turned out amazing. 
awesome smoke flavor awesome flavor i could not be more happy with this so i'm just gonna take a little bite mm. that breast is super juicy and flavorful but for me it's the dark meat that is amazing there's nothing else to say that's some of the best turkey i have ever had and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. This is the first time I've ever smoked a turkey. It's the first time I've ever brined anything. It's the first time I've ever used a mayo binder. And that just goes to show that anyone can make amazing smoked meat. You just gotta get out there and try it. So remember everybody, you gotta like the video. We have a thousand subscriber giveaway coming up. So make sure you stay subscribed for when that happens. And watch out for the next couple weeks. We're gonna have a couple more Thanksgiving videos coming out. Some uh, other things we can do on the smoker for Thanksgiving. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'm just gonna keep devouring this turkey leg because this might be one of my favorite things I've ever smoked. We'll see you next time.